Peace be with you and welcome back to my channel for another video, another spiritual download. If this is the first time that you're coming across my channel, I say hey, hi, and hello. You are more than welcome to like, share, dislike, subscribe, unsubscribe, send this to somebody that you feel can absolutely use this message and or keep it for yourself. Whatever your instincts and your higher self are telling you to do, I absolutely support you in doing that, believe it or not. But I promise you, if you just came across this platform nine times out of 10, there will be a message here for you. There's a 99.9% .9 chance that Spirit does have a message here for you, okay? If you're returning back to the channel, hello, my soul tribe. We're coming out as the high priestess energy vibrating so high. Things are going really well for us. And we're getting through the dark night of the soul with the realization and understanding that we have to put a death to certain parts of ourself first and foremost. It's not the enemy on the outside of you. It is the one within that you need to conquer. Some of these traumas are from past lifetimes. So be patient with yourself, okay? I'm getting temperance energy. Be patient with yourself. Not only are you breaking generational curses in this particular time on this day at this moment in this lifetime, but you're absolutely doing it from past lifetimes, okay? Your enemy is a reflection of parts of yourself that still need to heal and or parts of yourself that are um, yearning for forgiveness, right? Sometimes... Um, we rarely realize that we need to forgive ourselves for things that we couldn't control or maybe certain things were within our control and we wish that we could change things, right? Well, reality is this, the past is done. It's not even real. We can use it only to this point to manifest something good and or learn from it. That's it. You can't do anything with the past. Every life is definitely a story that needs to be told. So now you have to decide. You have to sit down with your past self, your present self, and allow your future self, hopefully your future self is your higher self, you have to have a conversation with all parts of yourself and decide what you're going to do with what you've been through, the lessons that you had to learn. Some of them were hard. If it doesn't do anything for you at this point in your life, then you need to make sure that it does something for you at this point in your life. But nevertheless, it should at least teach you patience, right? With other people, places and things and people that are going through their dark nights of the soul, right? Somebody doesn't need to take it personal. Somebody could be trying to project their nasty attitude onto you. It doesn't mean that you have to subject yourself to that energy. Spirit is saying just to be patient, okay? Look at that person and see what the issue is and if you can relate to that. Is it a part of yourself that you see in somebody else that could be suffering? This is where you're going to learn how to decipher parts of yourself that still need healing by way of the lessons that other people could be going through on the outside of you, right? Because you're attracting certain situations, people, places, and things for a reason, be it a blessing, be it a lesson, be it something that you need uh, to understand. I told you I felt the temperance energy all day, every day. Let's keep it 100. Let's keep it a buck. I love the young people. I love when they talk. They're like, yeah, let's keep it 100. Okay, let's keep it 100. <laughs> Listen, I've already called in my appropriate protection. I pray that you've done the same I'm going to call on the appropriate protection here as we come on in, have a seat, come on, bring the love, bring your higher self, get you a cup of, you know, chai tea. Oh, that's what I want. Get you a cup of chamomile or maybe you just want to put a little lavender oil, right? At your pressure points. Listen, I miss acupuncture. I wish I could get some acupuncture. Let's say I call upon the highest of white lights. Only the highest of white lights, most high. Ooh, show me what it is that I need to see. Put a shield of protection of peace, love, and light around us. Ooh, this is about dealing with your inner demon. Yeah, listen. So we do have those enemies on the outside of ourselves, okay? Absolutely, we do. We have people that get irritated by our light. 
because they're under this illusion that what the Most High is doing for us, that the Most High has forgotten about them and can't do for them, right? That's an illusion. Be patient with those people. Again, it doesn't mean that you have to submerge yourself and or subject yourself to their energy as they go through whatever they go through. And no, projecting negativity onto somebody else because you don't want to handle your own bullshit is not an option, at least not in the spirit world, okay? Not in our spirit world, okay? It's a violation of spiritual law. This represents your inner demons, okay? Addictions. Some people are addicted to keep, you know, um, uh, keeping certain doors open. Some people are addicted to thinking about the past. Some people are addicted to thinking about toxic relationships. These could be literal addictions, smoking, drinking, something that you do a little bit too much of. Um, these are inner demons, okay, that need to be conquered. Why? Because just as I said that, the sun is here. Leo energy, but this represents love and light for me. The sun is a very bright bit, blah, 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 bright, blah, why am I trying to get my words out? No time for bloopers, Nephilim. Sheesh, don't restart the tape. Listen, the sun <laughs> represents brightness. Lord have mercy. Somebody could have some issues getting out what they want to say. Okay. Channel good energy and light to your throat chakra. There's a beautiful affirmation that says, I, I speak my peace peacefully. I speak my words with confidence and truth. Okay. Maybe you feel as though somebody can't hear you. Stop talking to that person. Have a conversation with yourself. Take all of that good conversation that you could be trying to tell somebody and just go ahead and find yourself a mirror and have a conversation with yourself. Listen, this is conflict. This is inner conflict. We're not going to talk about the enemy on the outside because the enemy on the outside has been defeated. The cycles are closed. Your enemy can't touch you. We're in the age of Aquarius. There's too much spiritual information for you to be asleep. Like, absolutely. Like, come on. Now, whereas before we didn't know who we were, we were trying to go through cycles and lifetimes and, you know, we're coming out of that mental slavery, right? This is about you are what you think from your head down to your feet. So you get up every day and you say, my body is, oh, my body is just restoring itself to its natural state of good health. Instead of claiming whatever ailments you do believe that you have, because I promise you, your mind is very powerful. If you focus on those ailments, you will manifest that. I'm a firm believer that death is no more, sickness is no more. <laughs> it is a reality. Page of Swords represents good news coming in. This also represents people in all of your glow up. I was in here and I was meditating and I heard that song, I'm all the way up. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. I was like, okay, is that us? Taking a leap of faith. Somebody could want to travel. Okay. Yeah, have a conversation with paranoia about traveling. Sit down with paranoia and say, listen, par listen paranoia, we've been dealing with each other for 30 plus years. Um, it's time for us to break up. Paranoia is going to be a little sad, but I promise you, you'll feel better when you're delivered from whatever illusion has you feeling as though if you take a leap of faith or travel or, you know, do whatever it is that you feel spirit is telling you to do. Hey, paranoia has got to go. You can't take it with you. Paranoia is going to be a little upset. You've been kicking it with paranoia and fear for a really long time. Okay. You could have been addicted to fear, addicted to the dark night of the soul, right? Some people watch a lot of dark stuff on TV and they wonder why they feel so scared and so negative towards life, right? Yeah. Careful with watching Snapped and 48 hours and all these low vibrational things. Yes, it confirms that the devil does exist. However, we're shedding light and the meek is inheriting the earth. So now these energies are becoming more weak on the outside of us. This is a huge national planetary type of deliverance by way of Gaia. Gaia is really purging these energies. Shout out to Archangel Metatron. Thank you for standing by for helping us to balance out these energies, ridding ourselves of all dark ways of thinking. It's a mindset, okay? If you don't believe yourself, if you're finding difficulty speaking positivity, just lie to yourself. Listen, come on in. Let me just whisper something in your ear. 
Your mind doesn't know the difference between what you imagine and what's real. So careful what you think. Where are your thoughts? Are they in the past, the present, or the future? Listen! Nephilim is going back to the basics. The Ten of Pentacles is here. <laughs> After the dark comes the light. After the storm comes the sunshine. Okay? Hello, my beautiful sunshiny people. Listen, this represents financial gain. This represents stability. This represents your spiritual gifts. You're getting new gifts. Okay? It's like learning how to um learning how to drive a new car learning how to work a new washing machine sometimes you have to read the manual so spirit is saying go back to the basics go back to the basics right yeah these are your new gifts you're like damn i didn't know i i was clear audience who seems like i can really hear conversations real good now from like way over there you could be in the States. You could be hearing a conversation that's going on in Trinidad. Listen, <laughs> the, the gifts are getting more heightened because you're ascending. Okay. Sometimes that pull that you feel is your higher self pulling you. Come this way. Trust your instinct. Everything's going to work out just fine. Listen, you are the Hierophant. You're the highest in the room. This also represents marriage, okay? Listen, a lot of people are praying for love, wanting to know if their divine masculine, divine feminine is the one. Listen to me. You got many choices and this in itself is an illusion. Why? Because again, you're reaching for something outside of yourself more than you're reaching for yourself. The first relationship is with you. So while people are sitting up doing love spells and all kinds of whatever type of spells, listen, you want to do a spell, do a love spell on yourself. <laughs> Fall in love with yourself. Okay? In your rawest form, whatever you need to do to get to that pocket, to get to that self-preserving uh, energy, you need to do it. No matter what, I'm going to need you to write yourself a love letter. I'm going to need you to be honest with yourself. The hermit card is here. Listen, okay? I'm going to tell you something. It's going to be a death. It's going to be very sad. Why? Because the old you is fighting the new you. You're going within, so you do not have to go without. Is it going to be hard? It could be depending on whether or not you want to fight this transformation, depending on whether or not you're coming to the realization that, you know what, I don't like myself. That's a good place to start. Go in and have a conversation with that. If nothing else, why don't I like myself? Where did I learn that? Where did I get that? And then if you realize that a lot of people projected this insecurity onto you, right? Could have been a parent, a father, a mother who didn't think well of themselves. So here you are, this little child, and you're like a little sponge and you're soaking all that up. Those are illusions, baby. Those are not even real. So now you got to go through this dark night of the soul. What is the dark night of the soul going within? It's going to be scary because you're going to get all kinds of stuff that's going to pop up in your mind, honey. Oh, this is not going to work. Somebody's trying to hex me. Somebody says, somebody says that, that. Yeah, they are. I'm going to tell you the truth. They absolutely are. Why? Because they know that you're vulnerable. They know that you don't know who you are. You're the sun all day long and they know it. So what do people try to do? They want to hold you back. They can't heal, so they want you to be in that dark-ass energy. They want you to be sad and mad. But again, they're refusing to go within. That is what a karmic is. A karmic is somebody that wants to change the environment and the circumstances outside of themselves without this ability. I'm not going to even say that they don't want to. Some of them do not have the ability to go within, right? So they're angry with you. Why does she get to shine? Why is she okay? But they don't know your story. You don't look like what you've been through. you like, girl, you don't know what I've been through. The fact that I'm sitting up here shining like this, shining like new money. <laughs> Lord have mercy. People tell me all the time, oh, you're so happy. I'm like, yeah, because <laughs> I know sadness. I know depression. I broke up with that bitch. She tried to come back one day. And I was like, oh, no, the hell you don't. 
this relationship is too fini. Ah, that was a little Creole. Listen, I speak a couple of different languages, my friend. Inshallah, as my Muslim people say, God is willing when you are willing. And I was willing. I was willing to go within. It was hard. There's nobody in there but you. Don't go in, you know, yourself alone. Don't go into your mind alone. It could be a very dangerous place if that's what you believe. There's nobody in there. Those are your inner demons. You're going to have to sit down with them and decide which ones need to go. Nine times out of ten, all that dark ass shit got to go. But it's up to you. It's the process of elimination. Once you control all delete, all of that negative shit out of your mind, somebody cheated on you and they made you question whether or not you were beautiful. And somebody wasn't sexually attracted to you and you thought, oh, I, I must have lost my juju. I must have lost my little je ne sais quoi. Listen, it's an illusion. Somebody needs to fall in love with themselves. It's going to be a very hard thing going through this death. Why? Because those entities, those energies have been with you for lifetimes. They don't want to break up. Okay, they don't want to leave your vessel. They were they were so comfortable there keeping you bound to this energy. Okay? With everything that you're delivered from, with everything that you release, you now have to put something in its place. Okay? If I'm emptying my cup out of anger, hatred, uh, self-hatred, self-loathing, negative talking, fear, paranoia. Uh, when my mother was depressed, so now I have to be depressed. Those things. Oh, my mother had high blood pressure, so now I have to. These are these are dark thoughts that are really silent. They lie dormant in your mental capacities, and sometimes we don't even know that we're doing this because we're on auto repeat. And we've been doing it for so long. It's going to be a hard breakup, but guess what? You will get through it. You're going to have to let that person go. Who's that person? The older version of yourself. Why? Because they've not been beneficial to you up until this point. Only by way, if anything, there was a benefit only by way of teaching you a lesson about yourself. So because you stayed in that darkness, what happened? You attracted more toxic people, more dark people. Yeah, it's simple math. And it's just what it is. Listen. This could very much be weighing you down. Somebody's going through the dark night of the soul and it's very, very severe. I'm going to need you to hold on, okay? I'm going to need you to wrap your arms around yourself. And while you're worried about whether or not this guy loves you and whether or not this woman is coming back and you got a divorce and the kids are acting up, I'm going to need you to pump your spiritual mother freaking brakes. <laughs> First of all, you made it to this day. Somebody said, I'll see you tomorrow and didn't make it to the day. You're very blessed. I need you to obsessively, compulsively, deliberately say that to yourself. But, but Nephilim is so hard. Just lie to yourself. I don't care. Your mind don't know the difference. So all day, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. You know what's going to happen? At 12 o'clock, you're going to start feeling anxious. Why? Because you're so used to thinking a negative thought on auto repeat that your body's like, what the hell are we doing? This is the time that we turn on something toxic and watch people fight online and, 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 and watch these old reality shows that get us going. And they validate the fact that we can still stay in this darkness. They validate the fact that nobody's really having a good life and it makes you comfortable being this negative person. And some people don't even know that they're being a negative person. It's okay. Listen, I tried to tell you my friend, but we're all under spiritual judgment. For me, this represents deliverance. This represents being delivered. The world is under deliverance as we're under judgment. Again, toxic thinking. What happened to me when I was two? What happened to me when I was four? I want to blame somebody. Yeah, there's a lot of people to blame. But guess what? Fast forward. You're on this day at this time. May 22nd, 2023. It's not 1986. You can't do nothing with that. I'm going to need you to go back in time and snatch yourself up. Have a talk with your 1986 version of yourself and say, look, in 2023, we, we need to close out some of this shit. Okay? <laughs> go on back in the past. That's the dark night of the soul. You can't sweep it under the rug because it's only going to find its way to the surface in some way, shape, or form. The world is here. These cycles need to be closed out. 
purge I just heard. The purge. Purging. What does that look like? What does that sound like? Yeah, show me more, Holy Spirit. And when you do this, I'm going to be honest with you. Things on the outside of you are going to have a major shift. People, places, and things could be very uncomfortable with who you are. Why? Because they go with the old version of yourself, but that will is turning, 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 and you're not going to make it out of life alive. You better find something in life to be grateful about. I remember the one day I set up and I said, you know, most high, I was going through the dark night of the soul and I was sitting in my bathtub and I was so sad and depressed and just, oh my God. Little did I know I can lift my head to the sky and crack up. If I have to go back to that version of myself from 2010, I would tell her, girl, get your ass up. Do you know what the most high got for us? <laughs> I thought life was over. The guy was crazy. You know, I was breathing, uh, walking insecurity within myself. So that person, that leech, that parasite fed off of my insecurities. We tell people all the time how to treat us, right? <laughs> if I could go back in time, I would talk to her and be like, girl, look, I know you think he's the one. I know he left you with the baby. I know the people at the job are trying to get you fired, but I'm going to need you to go forward. I thought that life was over. I thought everything I thought about myself was real. Most of it was an illusion. When I played back a lot of those thoughts in my mind, it was something that somebody said to me that penetrated my soul. Why did I give them so much access to my soul? Yeah, I wanted to die. I thought that was over. What is going on? Why don't you love me? Oh, yeah. What does Beyonce say? When I make it so damn easy to love, why don't you love me? Why don't you love me? Go watch that video. That video is powerful. Why? She's sitting there. She's perfectly beautiful. Body on point. She's feeling good. Makeup and everything good. She's got a house that's perfect waiting on that man to come in and he just don't love her. Why? Because she didn't love herself. She was begging somebody else to love her more than she loved herself. That is the premise and or the energy and the moral behind the story. My story and the story in the video. Listen, that was a little very emotional Going back to the past, in my past, commercial break. And as I sit here today, I can, I want to cry, but they're tears of joy. <laughs> I could not have imagined, y'all. I got tears in my eyes right now. Listen, <laughs> I could not have imagined what the Most High had for me. I was sitting in that tub and I remember saying, Most High, you know, Anything that's not good for me, take it away. And guess what? I lost the car. I got into a bad car accident. I broke up with the guy. That just didn't work out the very next day. And a week later, I was unemployed. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. I said, remove all things that no longer serve my higher good. The most I was like, yes. <laughs> the universe was like, uh, that's what we did. And what it did was it led me into a very lucrative position and job that now even looking back at that, I was supposed to serve my time there for a certain amount of time and move forward. You have to know when it's time to shut things down and you have to have a courage that surpasses your own understanding, right? Okay, just a little commercial 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 break listen we're very very spiritually protected you've always been spiritually protected don't let anything weigh you out weigh you down you should be feeling as light as a feather somebody's having some difficulty getting their words out somebody could be trying to stop you from speaking the truth but guess what i promise you it's an illusion they can't control none of your chakras they can't control your mind you are the only thinker in your mind you are the only force to be reckoned with within yourself. 
okay? So people that are sending you negativity or whatever they're doing, listen, the only way that that can touch you and or bother you is if you give it permission. So today I need you to sit down with yourself and say, you know what, listen, I don't give anybody permission to be in my energy, be it good, bad, or indifferent, just because I'm very sensitive right now and I'm in hermit mode and I'm going within. I'm doing a self-consultation. I'm illuminating my own faults and anything that needs to go has to go. Some of us had to let go of children some of us had to let go of family. It wasn't easy, but it was necessary. It was vital for you to move forward if you're wanting to have a good life and you took your life by the spiritual balls. The spiritual cojones, my friend, the huevos. Not the eggs, but the balls. Listen, I'm going to need a little bit of water. Somebody needs to go on a love journey with themselves. It doesn't stop though, y'all. It's not a finite position. It's not something that, okay, I love myself. No, you have to constantly check yourself. You have to make sure that old ways of thinking don't come back, but it's only by permission of yourself. Remember that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying to my older self. Listen, fall in love with yourself, my friend. Don't weigh yourself down. Stay in a high vibration. Stay positive. Good news about money is coming. Okay, you've given to a lot of people, whoever this is for. This is for, this is for a few people, very specific. You've given to a lot of people, okay? You've sown great things into the universe. We're now in a time that people want you to be under this illusion that it's not going to happen. Now, not only this, the Ten of Wands being weighed down and also the Five of Cups represents people who now know that they can't use your fears against you. That's all they were doing. Karma's here. Karma is giving you your Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody wants a new house, a new car, right? Yeah, for stability. This is more for stability as opposed to just being materialistic is what I'm feeling. Yeah, I need a car to go to and fro. And in that, I pray that the universe gives me a really nice car. Comfortable. Why? Because I'm not going to make it out alive. I want a nice car to ride in. What does a nice car consist of? Clean seats, clean floors, one that has a great engine, a nice paint job. Because when I walk out, of, oh, it's so nice and shiny. I like looking at a shiny car. Right? This is not about, oh yeah, my haters are going to see me. Listen, you keep wishing, waiting, and wanting for people to see you, and you're going to find out that you're going to be waiting a really long time. Don't give your power up. Who cares what they think, right? They're always going to have something to say. Always. I love when I encounter my enemy because they show me parts about myself that either have died or that I still need to work on. The King of Wands, you're very unapologetic. You're very happy. Uh, you're very vibrant. You're very much a leader. You're very open-minded to a new way of thinking. The world card closing out an old cycle and or a new way of thinking is so very powerful for me because this means the cycle's closed along with the Hermit because after I have purged all of this toxic, dark energy, now what? I can't leave myself empty. I can't leave my cup empty. I have to now put in my cup joy, love. And I have to be consistent with that, right? Consistent. Because there's going to be things outside of you that are inevitable. Okay? Don't get me wrong. That could be the weather. That could be just certain things that are destined to happen. But once you know... What you can control, you have peace about that. This is about also utilizing your leadership to manifest good things, you know, in a wise way, not abusing your power, to be resilient, okay? Yeah, for leaders, it's not an easy thing because a leader wants to, um, a leader wants to help the people. They're not, it's not a selfish pursuit, okay? A leader knows that people are coming to them for help, 
right? You could get people that are older versions of yourself. I get them all the time. I get them all the time. They are in my email and I love y'all so much. And I just have to laugh to keep from crying. They're like, you went through this too? And I'm like, yeah, I did. Oh, So then the Most High is testing me by way of good karma to see if I'm going to give back what was given to me when nobody gave anything to me. Most leaders are on a narrow path. I had to go through some of those things by myself. And the first thing I said was, I don't want people to have to feel alone going through the dark night of the soul or going within when they see things about themselves and or conquering demons from their childhood and doing their shadow work. I don't want them to be alone. So the Most High is like, okay, I'm going to make you a guide, right? I'm a leader. People come to me. I'm still learning. There's people that are above me that I still learn from. And that's the thing. It's not about being better than anybody. It's about being in service and using what you've gone through to help somebody else. Listen, it's a very caring position. Okay, king of cups, a king. We're coming up as kings collectively. Nurturing, faithful, balanced, calm, wise, caring, friendly, mature, spiritually mature, right? Because if you go back into your past, your childhood, you were, you were spiritually immature, right? Even if you've had a gift since you were a child, you were just a child. But the people could have said, oh, you got an old soul. You know, you were spiritually immature, right? Hmm. I just got a lesson out of that. Thank you, spirit. Listen, gaining new skills and or knowledge. This is you researching, understanding what it takes and what you need in order to ascend. This could be re like researching, reading, uh, understanding your lineage. Maybe you want to get a genealogy chart. Maybe you want to get, um, uh, what is it called? The astrological chart, right? What's in my North node? What's in my this node? I have a lot of Leo in my chart, which I did not realize, okay? But I'm not a fire sign. Who can guess my sign? <laughs> Maybe I should do some type of contest. If somebody guesses my right zodiac sign based on my date of birth, which I've not shared with anybody, <laughs> maybe I'll give out a little gift or something like $100 because it's fun. That would be so much fun. Okay, listen, listen, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Listen, you are the wounded warrior. May was a very difficult month for resources and finances. I'm not going to even lie. The physical world, woo, got shaken up as above, so below. There are some things that were materialistically taken from you and or snatched from you, okay? Why? Because it's a big, long, retrograde type of a month is what it feels like. June is going to be even a little bit more interesting because June represents communication, we're going into this Gemini energy. Gemini is retrograde. We're going right into that energy. Listen, you're going to have to communicate what it is that you want, not only to other people, but more importantly to yourself and or remember that the universe is listening. The, just see the universe as that waitress when you go to a restaurant and they're like, okay, can I take your order? And you're like, yes, I'll have the blah, 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 blah. This is how the universe does. Okay. All right. Oh, oh, okay. It's very literal and very fair, right? So I heard somebody say the other day, I'm so sick and tired of this person. They get on my nerves. I'm like, ooh. And you wondering why you got neuropathy? Girl, let me get away from you. They're like, but you know what I mean. I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> I can't afford to think like that, my friend. I'm walking around saying my body's restored itself to its natural state of good health and my nervous system is just fine. Listen, this is what I'm talking about. It's very, very literal. So as we move into this Mercury energy, okay, my beautiful soul tribe, we need to be very mindful. People are talking behind the scenes because what used to bother you don't bother you no more. And now they're being forced to go within and now the universe is dishing them out their fair share is called a karmic cycle and or karmic bills. Listen, our cycles are done. We are in the teacher's position. Everybody is a walking, breathing lesson. Okay, there is a victory here. This is a soul tribe victory. 
not only is Soul Tribe victory collectively together, this is a victory within yourself. This is a personal triumph. Yeah. Going within represents a fruit of labor. Why wouldn't you work so hard with yourself? You know, could be breaking codependency. Maybe you had a mother that didn't nurture you, right? Maybe you had a father that wasn't affectionate. And maybe this is why you keep choosing guys that are on drugs. Huh, that's a very specific download. That's a hard lesson to learn. I'm going to need you to lay in that bed by yourself and wrap your arms around yourself and lie to yourself until it becomes real, until you believe it. Cry until you're crying tears of joy. Listen, the Queen of Swords represents you being sharp, intuitive, using your sort of truth with wisdom, kindness, understanding, not just with other people, but today we're talking about self. We're talking about being in love with ourselves. There go my two of cups. You and spirit in the spiritual closet. Doo, 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 doo. Let me go into my spiritual closet. Oh, let me tell you. There's dragons in the dungeon. There's all kinds of stuff. Oh, in that closet. Are you brave enough? No, I'm terrified. Well, go in there anyway. I promise you, you're going to come out in this Ten of Pentacles energy, in the sun vibrant energy, in the successful energy, because the cycles are closed. So if you're forcing these cycles to stay open, you have to ask yourself, why do I need this trauma? What is it doing for me? I'm gonna have to break up with it. And the moment you do, guess what happens? You're gonna go to work and you're gonna have a very dominating uh, boss, supervisor. Why? Because your mother was dominating. You need to conquer that inner child. The universe is very, very fair. What happens in retrograde is if you don't overcome these things, they just keep sending you the same lessons, the same lovers. You're like, damn, you remind me of the last three guys I was with. Yeah, because you didn't learn the lesson. Maybe you had issues with codependency. Maybe you had issues with image, wanting to be married and what it looks like. Some people are staying married just because they don't want people to see that they're alone. Maybe they care about what people think. Listen, this is a serious, serious self-work, right? The magician, everything that you say and or do will be held against you in the galaxies, in the cosmos, within the universe. It's answering, it's taking your order and it's going to deliver to you what you're ordering. So careful what you're thinking, what you're speaking, what you're saying. I'm going to need you to hurry up and get up out of that dark night of the soul because we need you collectively to come along with us as other leaders are helping other people. We're in the King of Cups, very emotionally balanced, calm, and faithful energy. We're in the King of Wands, leadership, authority. Listen, no abuse of power. When you remember the Five of Cups energy and the dark night of the soul and the Ten of Wands and these illusions, right? Right? that you went through and you get somebody and they're frantic. Oh, somebody's doing something. I don't know what's going on. Huh, huh. You're going to be like, calm down. Take a deep breath. Remember, you're a leader now. Remember, you've been exactly where they are. Remember, you said some of the same things to yourself. Remember, you still get triggered by certain things. And that's when you know, oh, damn, I'm really not over that. Listen, it is a very interesting process, to say the least. People are spying, they're gossiping, they don't know what the hell to do. They didn't pay people to keep you in this toxic illusion. Now that you've taken your power back, now that you're telling yourself the truth, now that you love yourself to the capacity that you're like, you know what, if don't nobody tell me I'm beautiful, I'm telling myself I'm beautiful today because I really feel as though I'm beautiful. This is self-love. Not being so self-absorbed that I can't look over at my other beautiful soul tribe members and tell them that they're beautiful as well. This is about honesty. This is about truth. Okay? This is about soulmate energy. You are your own soulmate. What if you're not destined to be with anybody? What happens? Is life over as you know it? No, you got yourself. Some of you can't even imagine being alone and that's okay. You need to go to work with that energy. You need to break up with that energy, break up with that illusion of being alone and being lonely and what those two things could very possibly mean. Listen, it's a very powerful thing. You're waging war on your inner demons. You're moving forward courageously. 
You're conquering the enemy within. I just hear spirits say, yeah, this is a gift. That in itself is a gift. That is your ace of pentacles to win your original, pure, holy self back from all lifetimes. We don't have time to take that dead energy, that dark mindset with us at this point in our lives. We just don't have the time anymore to do that. Even when the world seems upset. <laughs> I know, right? It's a really hard thing to do. But the Most High chose you. And that's why you were woken up today. This is why you're here on this day is to do your job. I'm telling you, get out of this here. This is an illusion. But there's nobody here to help me take the blindfold off. I know you're going to have to do it yourself. You're in a self-imposed imprisonment. But they diagnosed me bipolar. They diagnosed me with depression. They diagnosed me. I know. Right. I know. Listen, I'm going to need you to fight. I'm going to need you to be patient. I'm going to need you to take a deep breath. I'm going to need you to force yourself to think positive. You could be driving down the street and your mind wants to go to something negative. Remember, hey, you know what? I don't want to think about that no more. You could get a friend that calls you and be like, yeah, I remember when that one guy broke your heart and cheated on you and slept with your friend. And you're like, yeah, I remember that. How you take that memory and process it on today says a lot about where you go and how you're going to move forward. Is that still bothering you? Is what's his name still making you cry? You ain't been in that relationship in over five years. I'm going to need you to be a little bit more patient with yourself. I'm going to need you to really get in there and do the work. It's going to be hard. Nobody's coming to save you. The Most High is saving you. People want, you know, to call upon a savior. Find a mirror, look into your own eyes and have that conversation. Yeah, the Four of Cups represents breaking up the monotony. Okay? Depression, stagnation. You're bored. Why? Because you're not doing what it is that you're supposed to do. But, but how am I going to make money? Listen, <laughs> when you know that you know that you know that you know, when you know you're going to know, when's it going to happen? I don't know. I'm just here to hold a place of love and light for you. It's going to happen when you give yourself permission to be great and beautiful. It has nothing to do with, you know, aesthetics. Those are just, you know, that's that's just the icing on the cake. What is the cake made out of, though? Right? Aesthetics is your hair, your eyelashes, your eyebrow, your little cute little colorful shirt like the one I got on. My cute little colorful toes. <laughs> that's, that's body maintenance. That's the way I show myself love. Right? But what's going on inside? If there's nothing going on inside, none of this will make me happy. Not the car, not the BMW, not the money in the bank. And people are like, shoot, if I had a lot of money in the bank, I would find a way to be happy. Yeah, guess what? That happened to me once. And I realized, damn, I don't feel the way I thought I would feel. That's just a real serious commercial break. Temperance is here. I told you it was going to come out for you. Because this is what you need to show yourself. Patience, balance, loving kindness, okay? Yeah, they're still wishing bad on you. But don't give them the weapon. Don't give them the glory. Don't give the devil any glory. Don't give them, you know, the victory by way of feeling defeated. Okay? They know that they have no power unless you give them attention. Hmm. You could be bored with life right now. This is an empty victory for your enemy because you're walking away. And what you're walking away towards is a better relationship with yourself and spirit. And there's nothing they can do about it. Show me more, Holy Spirit. What else do I need to see here for the divine collective, please? And thank you. Yeah, I promise you, after you go within and you, <laughs> you just go within, you are going to become your wish fulfillment. You are going to become the lover that you always wanted. You won't need anybody. You will want people to be around you. And this is where you need to be. It's not going to be easy going into this closet. Take a notebook and a pen with you. Write yourself a letter. Put the date on it. 
And five years from now, look at it. You're going to laugh. Hoo -hoo. Oh, listen. Love life and life will love you back. Deliverance is the key. To be delivered from what? Delivered from illusions. Delivered from loneliness. Delivered from people that you try to love that don't love themselves. And you're like... But somebody's doing witchcraft on our relationship. Yeah, well, if the witchcraft is working that good and it's hitting the person that you're with and you feel as though that's your divine masculine, then that person nine times out of ten is not as strong as you, number one. Two, it'll always be a savior's complex type of an energy. I got to save him. I need to pray for him. Okay, that's fine. You can do that. But who's praying for you while you praying for them? Because your cup is empty. It's not wise to be empty of all of your good energy because you need some of that for yourself. And then what happens in those situations? When does that person learn to pray for themselves? It's a very, very serious situation. Okay. What do the angels have to say? What do the angels have to say? Number 22. You're definitely seeing 222. Two, two. Okay. This says you are in possession of incredible creative powers. And it is assured that you can achieve anything you wish. What are you thinking about? This says, I am aligned. Just know that everything is working out for the greater good of who you are. The miracles. Somebody's praying for a path, a pathway to be cleared and a doorway to be open. So shall it be. Open sesame. You are the magician. Speak it and make it happen number 22 is also a master number okay it absolutely is yeah somebody could be upset because they can't control you with your fears anymore i'm going to be honest i am picking up that energy well sucks to be them the worst thing that's going to happen is that they're going to have to find a mirror and realize that they're really controlling and people that like to control other people are afraid to be out of control i've learned that in for Myself, So I'm giving that over to you as a lesson that I've learned. Number 30, you are the original, innovative thinker and an excellent communicator. I know communication is coming up under this Gemini energy. I felt it. You have a great talent for using creativity to convey your ideas and your optimistic attitude has an uplifting effect on others. I am imaginative. What are you thinking? Listen. You don't know what you're thinking? Find something like uh, positive affirmations. Louise Hay is really good. Um, play those in the car. Reprogram your mind, okay? If you can't find anybody around you to touch and agree with and be positive with you, then be the only positive energy. It's better to be alone than to be in bad company. Listen, this is your reading though. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I mean it. Wrap your arms around yourself. Give yourself a big old hug. Ah! I needed that hug. I needed that hug. I really did. So I gave myself a nice hug, right? <laughs> this is your message. I love you wherever you are on this planet. I pray that you're doing well. Do the work. And I promise you, you're going to see things change overnight. Most times, it's just a way of thinking, a way of being. And you have all the power and everything that you need on the inside of you to do that. Even when you feel as though you don't, I promise you, you do. Until the next video, as always, peace be with you.